All right, people, welcome back. More Daily Duel. So I'm actually going to change it up today. Uh, pretty much at this current moment, there is no tag partners to be found on. And uh, I'm not sure if this deck has to go first or second. I guess I want to say second. Just an extra card to make sure I get the consistency of uh, Farm Girl and do that play. But I don't know. I don't know. But uh, at this current time, it's almost it's 9-12 right now. You know, the... The bonus Daily Duels Hump Day is supposed to go up at 10, and no one is on the tag, so you know what, I'm switch it up. So, I'm bad, I should probably should have contacted people ahead of time, and I was like, maybe someone will be on when I get back from uh, donating. No, no one's on, so I'm like, you know what, we're just going to go ahead and uh, record this Daily Duels, and put this up hopefully around 10, and then have the other Daily Duels up at 2, and you know, everybody should be on. So, sorry for reversing the orders, like I said. I'm bad. I'm bad. I'm terrible. It's not the first stupid mistake that I've done, and I'm gonna tell you guys about this other one. So, uh, let's go ahead and uh, get it started. Hmm. That's not bad. Not bad at all. I have plates. It's just like huge. Uh, for well, let's get one thing straight. One thing clear. I don't know Cosmos that well. I don't. I really don't. And for those of you who are, you know, giving on me because I don't know this deck too well. I apologize. I have never played this deck before. This is literally my first, well, second time playing this deck. Last Wednesday was the first. And you guys, you guys fucking beat my ass. You guys were like, Daniel, you know, you guys are like, Daniel, you fucking suck. You're fucking garbage. You're playing the deck wrong. You're fucking trash. And I was like, yo, like, hola, 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 hola. For one thing, I have never played this deck before. Never. Never, ever, 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 ever. I've seen plays of it. So, instead of, you know, being supportive for the first time and being on Daily Duels, you fuckers decided to fucking crucify me and say, like, alright, you know. And it wasn't even any constructive criticism. It was just straight up, like, oh, your players are so bad, they're cringeworthy. What did I do wrong? You guys want to go ahead and uh, inform me what I did wrong, then, you know, I'll totally, uh, you know, work on it. I will totally work on it. But instead, you guys were like, no, no, Daniel, you fucking suck. This is wrong. That is bad. This is wrong. That is bad. Like, oh, well... Thanks, thanks. So, uh, if you guys have any suggestions, I will be glad to go ahead and take them and put these two back because I don't really need another additional farm girl. No. I'm glad I'm at least getting farm girl. I was worried about the consistency in this deck, but, you know, hopefully it, se it seems like he'll do okay. Wow, he's set to be honest. Oh, I'll take that. Wow, set to be honest. So, Lance is good because I can minus him by 500, so... We try to attack me with anything under, what is that, 23? Yeah, anything under 23, I got him. So, that's pretty good. But yeah, I, I need to learn Cosmos. If you guys have any suggestions, I'll go ahead and take them. For one thing, I took out the Shining Angels, alright? I thought it was a cool, interesting tech with Mystic Tomato being hyped. I was like, oh, you know, you know, Shining Angels is kind of like Mystic Tomato. It can grab me on this and stuff like that. And you guys are not for that, alright? Uh, one of the things that uh, Lunar suggested... Uh, you know what? I'm going to Torrental right now. Yeah, I'm going to Torrental because it, you're summoning this. You're going to go for Black Rose. You're going to go for Black Rose. And it sucks that I might have to lose my Farm Girl here. No, no, no. I mean, I could always turn into Slip. Yeah, you know what? It'd be better to go ahead and turn to Slip. Don't, don't fuck that up. Like, no, no. You're not Black Rose in me. Because you're going to Black Rose. Shit. I'm not stupid. Oh, stupid, you're gonna black rose me. All these question mark, question mark, question marks. Oh, I accidentally activated my fucking shit, so I guess I'm gonna accidentally destroy my own shit. Oops. I guess I should go ahead and chain this, because I'm about to fuck up real nice. Don't crucify me! I, I, I didn't know. It's a like question mark, question mark, question mark, question mark, question mark. It's like, wait, what? Like, like, yeah, I want my effects. Like, no, I'm not stupid. I can see that shit coming from a mile away. So I guess I should... I don't know. I don't know. I guess I'll summon Good Witch. Like I said, I don't like Good Witch. She, she has synergy with the deck, but I don't like her. I don't, I don't see the point of her, really. You know, it's all about Farm Girl. Farm Girl is the boss-ass bitch. Oh, my God. Well, I'm getting fucking Black Rosed. Wow, all right. Wow, all right. I hate you, Soul Charge. I hate you. You're so fucking busted! Go ahead and Black Rose me. I got nothing to stop that. 
It's like, yeah, fucking Torrental. Guess that was my bad, since I had fucking activated emergency teleport. What the fuck? Well, I didn't chew black raise me. Okay, that's just dumb. That's just dumb. Okay. The effects depending on the tribute of the non turner synchro monster, so light once per turn you can stop one light monster in your graveyard, especially somebody face down defense position. Okay, I guess. I don't, I don't, I don't know what the fuck that was. <sighs> Ooh, generation shift. Alright, that's an interesting tack, I must say. Uh, I guess I'll go ahead and pay my life points to grab me my... I guess I'll pay the life points, grab me my fucking farm girl back. Or I can grab my slip, right? You haven't been playing any back row yet, though. I don't know why you didn't black rose me, though. You should have black rose me. Well, I guess I would have still got Cosmotown effect, so... But still, you should have black rose me. Good witch can go ahead and set you, but you still have a 21 booty, so. Like I said, should I grab my slip? I can grab my slip and. I can slip. Well, slip can attack over him, but he'll still have his honest. I should probably grab my slip. Yeah, I'm gonna grab my slip. Now I guess I'll banish you, special summon slip. Yeah, banish you, special summon slip, and then just once per turn he can select one light monster, and yeah. That's not the best of plays either. Damn it! I need a lot of things. I need a lot of things. I said, I still don't find that this deck is really that good. Yeah, yeah, it's just me. But hey, it's just me fucking up. It's just me fucking up. I mean, I guess I could lance him, but I generally want to save these lances for Farm Girl just because it'd be better. Yeah, I guess I can lance him, then he'll drop down to. No, he'll drop down to 17, and then I could just attack over him. Yeah, I guess it'd be best just to go ahead and take this guy out. So Lunar, Lunar said I should text the Generation Chef because apparently this deck is really aggressive, like the push for game. And I was playing it wrong. I'm playing it. I'm trying to play it like a control deck when it's actually a really aggressive deck, and I'm playing it wrong. So it sucks that I'm leaving him the honest. I really don't want to leave him the honest, but I'm hoping that I'll be able to hop out of the way of his plays. You no, know? no, I got nothing. I got nothing. Fucking Soul Charge. Fucking Soul Charger still busted. It seems like he'll forever be busted, though. It really does. It's kind of like, yeah, life points for resources all day, all day, all day. Like, yeah, fucking number generators. Like, here you go, Gen X, and fucking here you go. Fucking here's, uh. Here's Soul Charge. Oh, that's fine. I can definitely see how Generation Ships is good. It's good with these big, bigger monsters. I'll destroy my, my monster, go ahead and search me for the same name, and then go ahead and summon. So, my bad. Attack decoration, go ahead and banish. Got some Slip Rider. Do not activate its effect. No. So I fucked up last time. You gonna crash? I mean, I could generation shift. But I'd be changing the field. Yeah, we'll crash. I float, so we'll crash. Damn, where the fuck is Forerunner when you need it? I guess I'll go ahead and summon a farm girl. Pew, pew! So I definitely... I guess I'll go ahead and pay the life points to get my slip rider back and then attack over the Honest. That Honest needs to die, like... I need to get that Honest out of here. Honest's big old booty is having a problem. I was saying, this deck is so aggressive. It's like, attacks over everything. 
So, like I said, I tried to play as a control deck. It's an aggressive deck, but Generation Shift is a nice tech. I believe, uh, I believe Lunar told me that, uh, but I think Lithium 2300 did it with Generation Shift. Like, I can see that. I can see that. This Cosmo Town's putting in that work. There's no way I'm going to be able to attack over the Thonis, so I might as well just go ahead and special summon. So, I guess I shouldn't have got Farm Girl, I should have got Good Witch, because now I think all my Farm Girls are banished, and yeah, they are, so. Attack over the Thonis. I got Vanities, so maybe I could just hold it down with Vanities and uh, Slip Rider. 300 meter and you won't be able to special something that's not terrible. I I got my vanities earlier. The number generator in this duel is really interesting. I forgot what he searched with uh, King of the Feral Imps. Oh, he got Worm X. Is that what you got? Probably. Probably. Mm-hmm. Let's go ahead and do Nah, I don't want you to set Yangin. Nah, 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 nah. Because I know how worms work. Yep. I hate you so hard, too. You should have black rose me. I said, I'm mad that you didn't Black Rose me because I should have been Black Rose. That's, I tried to stop it the first time and got the second time. I said, number generator. You know, I get Torrental, fucking, uh, what do I get? Torrental, I think I got a Gold Sark. Go, yeah, Gold Sark, Torrental, Vanities. You got Soul Charge, fucking, uh, Janix Alley Birdman. Like, what? First effect. I'm gonna grab my farm girl back. I'm gonna summon my farm girl. And start pushing. Farm girl effect. Okay, that is eight. And finally, I get Forerunner in this duel. Anyway, let me go ahead and tell you guys how I fucked up. Alright. If you guys are new to being a subscriber to me, as of before summer, like before uh, the you get your draft league, then you probably won't get this. But let me just go ahead and tell you, because the story is just all around just stupid. So you'll get it despite it. So I took summer classes. I signed up for two summer classes, two of them. Uh, one was my education class, because I'm trying to be a teacher. What do you mean? Like, you have to control a Yagin for you not to be destroyed by battle. Like, I did that double time. I did that to kill your your, your Zex, and I did it to uh, for Yagin. Wow. So honest. Like, honestly. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know what you're planning. I guess, I guess you're, I guess you're seceding. And this is your method of saying, all right, I quit. I guess, cause double honest. <laughs> so I, I, was, I even had to check. I'm like, honest is in the graveyard. So why are you coming at me with honest? Like, guess this duel is over. I guess you secede. Vanity's too strong. Still, still one of the stupidest trap cards in all of Yu-Gi-Oh. It sucks that it took me so long to get Forerunner. Manities? Like, why did Vanities stay? Because the card has to be sent from my field or my graveyard. Not just the graveyard here. Because a card has to be... No, you didn't. Sent to my graveyard. My graveyard. Read it. 
to your graveyard. Your graveyard. I guess, it was, I mean, then these would be much more, much more balanced if it was like, if a card is sent to the graveyard, period. You know? Because straight up, I, I could just take a monster, crash into your monster, and then fucking Vanities would be gone. Or, you know, I could just go on the defensive while you have your Vanities up. Sure, I can't special summon, neither of us can special summon, but I could just go on the defensive, you know? Alright, that's it. There. So I didn't- I fucked up, but I didn't fuck up too bad. And I said, I saw the Black Rose coming to a parental, but I didn't know he's gonna have Soul Charge, and I- The slip- the question mark effects, like, that probably need a program and, and tell me specifically what you're asking me. My bad, I wasn't really paying attention. So. Anyway, let's go ahead and get another duel and be right back. Alright. So, let me tell the story. So my summer classes, I signed up from my first, my education class, because I want to become a teacher, so I had to take education classes. And this particular class, I'm almost done with my social degree, but I had to take Nevada history. I already took my history class, U.S. history, but for some reason, they're like, yeah, you got to take a uh, freaking uh, uh, Nevada history as well. Like, okay. So I signed up for both those classes during the summer, and then I really only had one class left, i.e. being uh, uh, my last class would be... Oh, alright, well, this duel's gonna be annoying to say the least. There we go. Thank Law that deck, people. Thank Law that deck. And I don't have any of my fucking, uh, uh, high levels. If I had any of my high levels, then, you know, we'd be doing the plays. And I think Match Change just says target him, target it, yeah, target it. No, it doesn't say target face up here. It's just target a hero. This this target deck is wrong. It's this target a hero because I know people like to sometimes they'll set dark they'll set the shadow mist and then play it. So and what's I don't even know the fucking I can't honest. Best thing I can do is compulse. It's the best thing I can do is compulse. So I guess I'll summon farm girl and set some background in my turn and then when he turns into dark law I can compulse the dark law but he's still gonna get the shadow mist effect. <sighs> I really don't like dueling against dark dank law that deck. I never did, never will. You know, I used to like I said, whenever I do a heroes it's just like great. That's fine. Smoke weed no, it's fine, drum girl, calm down. Really? Really? He just fucking threw that fucking brick to skill at me. I mean, I guess, but you probably could have saved it for later. I guess I should activate this. It's interesting that this field spell doesn't give them any attack, like 300 attack, make her an 18 beater. Yeah, I guess that'd be too good. So you can break this kill me next turn. I'm definitely gonna go ahead and compulse the, the Dark Claw, like that's gone. Not sure if I should activate this, but even if he destroys it, I still get my effect, so. It's just he's gonna pick something out of my hand, let's, let's say. This card is destroyed by a card effect. Okay, I had those like incense in a graveyard. No. Okay. I end my turn. Say, so what's your last piece of back row? Won't compulse yet. I'll wait for him to get nice and comfortable and then I'll compulse, compulse him. Yeah, I need him gone. The only question is, is he gonna break through scale me? No. That would actually be pretty good if he break through skills me. Oh my god! Fuck! No, nothing. Just talking about this fucking duel. Oh my god, I hate Dinklaw.deck. Oh my god, god, I hate Dinklaw.deck. That's all you do. That's all you can do. That's all you can do. That's all you can do. It's fucking Dark Law, Dark Law, Dark Law, Dark Law. No, it doesn't matter if I fucking compulse him, because now he can just turn this Shadow Mist into Dark Law. 
Fuck, I had a plan and now it's gone. It's fucking out the window, people. Out the fucking window. All because of fucking multiple uses of Shadow Mist. Like, you don't need Stratos. You don't need Stratos, you're already annoying enough. Already annoying enough. That's fine. Unnecessary pluses off a of fucking shadow miss. What now? Set these two special summon bubble man. And continue to go stupid, go into fucking blade armor and shit. Yep, of course, of course. Of course, so these two are gonna, of course, XE into blade armor ninja. He is going balls deep. Oh, mass charge fucking two? Uh, damn, just give him the fucking tits. Give him the fucking tits. God, I hate Yu-Gi-Oh. So fucking luck based. I'm not saying I'm the most skilled Cosmo player, but damn. God, where is... Uh, God, I wish I had fucking Torrental. Oh, we need Stratos. Look at the fucking shit that you're doing. Like, no, you don't need any Stratos. On attack decoration. False. That way I can at least play honest. Nope, I'm fucked. I'm fucked. I'm fucked. I'm fucked, people. I'm fucked. I'm fucked. GG! Yeah, because you totally need fucking Stratos. No. No. Fuck that shit. Come on. Be right back. One more door. Alright, people. So, let me go ahead and tell my fucking story. So, the Nevada History class, uh, I, I didn't really check how long the class was when I signed up for it. I literally just searched the teacher. And I was like, oh, they say that this teacher's pretty easy. All right, we'll go ahead and go with him, right? I don't want to give away my deck, but I'm probably going to have to. Put you back. No, I'll, take the, I'll keep the farm girl. But I'll put the good witch back on, because I've never been the biggest fan of her. I so said, I'm running all these back rows and shit. Maybe I should be running shrink and shit, you know? Because generally, you know, you don't want to come after farm girl do card effect because I'll hop out the way. So you want to destroy that battle, and then I'll fucking shrink you during the damage step or something like that. I don't know. I don't know. Like I said, maybe I'm just playing the deck wrong, but I'm going to take it slow for right now. Like I said, maybe I'm playing the deck wrong. But I just looked at the teacher, and I was like, alright, they say the teacher's a pretty good professor. He's easy, so I guess I'll go ahead and go with the fuck. <laughs> I guess I'll just go ahead and go with fuck, people. I guess I'll just go ahead and go with fuck. Sit down. Okay, I'm gonna lose my Vakra when I was a loser, right? What's your booty? 1300? Yeah, I could attack over that, but I'm not gonna get much more out of that than that. God. I'm just drawn into all the shit that I'm, I'm just not playing this deck right, apparently. And maybe you are supposed to just play it aggressive as hell. Oh, your fucking attack and defense went up because of fucking... Oh, my God. I thought it was just attack. Like, no. It's defense, too. Like, oh. Uh, right. Fucking awesome. It's fine. Hopefully, he'll go ahead and summon a harpy, destroy my Cosmo Town, and I'll get my effect to search. And I can search for, like, Forerunner or something. That'd be great. That'd be fucking fan-fucking-tastic. Because right now, I'm shit. How many times am I going to fuck up? I am just literally a fuck up. I am literally a fuck up, people. I am like a fuck up. Hell yeah. Hell fucking yeah. Give me that forerunner. Thank you. Thank you. Like, wow. I am literally a fuck up. 
-hmm. Peace out, motherfucker. Powerful forerunner. This should this should, this should be helpful. Oh, oh my god! <laughs> wow, fucking hysteric party. All right, here we go. Here we go. Oh, you're just at least you're destroying your own filth spell. You can't target me at least. I'm destroying your own party. So. Can't target me, so that's good. Who? Thank you for destroying my filth spell. Thank you. You really can't do much against me right now. It's not gonna work. I can't be targeted, so. Oh, I guess you're gonna return one of your own cards? Cool story, bro. Damn! Damn! He's, he's like, scoop! This guy actually had a pretty high rating, too. I said into duel. I didn't know he was gonna be a fucking scrub. Man, you're worse than that fucking Harpy Play Out World, man. Fucking up like that, boy. Alright, that's done. I'm done dueling. I'm done fucking up, like I said. Like I said, maybe instead of running back row and shit, maybe, I, like I said, maybe I should just approach it with uh, shit like shrink and shit. You know, I already run the lances, but maybe run the shrinks and shit. Maybe you just get, more, maybe just get aggressive with it. Maybe I'm doing it wrong. Just to get aggressive with it. Just get aggressive with it, because uh, apparently I'm trying to play as a control deck. I'm trying to hold on to resources and play as control and lock down my opponent, and that's just not what this deck does, so. Like I said, if you guys have any suggestions, go ahead and tell me. I don't know Cosmos. I do not know Cosmos. Instead of fucking telling me that I'm shit and crucifying me in the comment section below, disliking my video, how about you guys help me out? Fuck. Anyway. Uh, so I signed up for the class, but I didn't realize that it was a four-week class, and it was an ass ton of work. Like, I wouldn't say that the work was too difficult, but it was just an ass ton of work because the class is four weeks, you know? Like, it was usually going to be a 16-week class, but you take a 16-week class and condense it into four weeks. Like, he didn't, he didn't take away any of the work. It was just, you're doing four times the amount of work in every week. It was, no. So, I dropped the class, right? But I still had to take the class. So, I, I dropped the class. I waited a while, and I was like, all right, well, it's time to go ahead and sign up for fall semester. So, uh, I finished my one education class. So, I'm on my final education class, but I still need to take this class. So, I'm like, all right, let me go ahead and sign up. Completely forgot about the professor's name. I forgot his name. So, once again, when I'm right, my professor looked up classes, I was like, all right, well, they said that this professor is easy. My dumbass, same fucking professor. Signed up for the class, 16 weeks this time. Didn't realize until I, it was in the actual class. I was like, wait a minute. This all seems very familiar. I ended up putting myself in the exact same class. But, hey, at least it's 16 weeks instead of four weeks. So, instead of only having a week to do all this work, it's a month. You know, it's a, there's it, they're pretty much the class is broken up in four parts, four weeks each. So there you go. So it's not that bad, and it's the exact same fucking class. So I'm gonna see if I can cheat my way through it. Like I said, he says that he's been teaching this online class for five years. I will be damned if after five years someone hasn't posted up all the answers to his fucking shit online. I will be damned. So we'll go ahead and fucking check it out. But yeah, so I have that class for. And only that class this semester, pretty much, for the majority of the semester. And I don't have my education class until the end of the semester. Like, the last half of the semester. My final education class. And then, uh, go ahead and take my teacher's test, and then, there you go. I'll have my associate's degree, I can be a substitute teacher. Which, my school just gets so desperate. I think, I think they need, like, 20,000 jobs for teachers. They're so desperate for fucking teachers, they're literally having subs be permanent subs. Like, they're, su they're still subs. So they're not like the official teacher, but they're pretty much like, hey, we're going to need you to sub every single day, come in the same class and pretty much teach it. So you're essentially a teacher, but you're a sub. You know, that's how desperate school district is for teachers. So pretty much as soon as I get my, uh, pass my teacher's test and I can be a sub, I'll probably be a permanent sub and I'll probably be teaching a class, yet only be a substitute teacher while still working, working on my bachelor's degree because that's how desperate they are for teaching. So desperate. So desperate. No one wants to be a teacher in my school district. You know, my state, I think, is like the 48th worst state. Like, it's that bad. It's that bad. So, there you go. Anyway, I'm done. So, like I said, you'll get your you'll get your home day. I promise you that. It's just, this one has to go up now. And this one is going to be late, too. But, just, I'm just stupid. I'm bad. I'm making mistakes. And I'm, I'm, I'm fucking up. Uh, that's when Daniel realized he fucked up. I think I might name the episode of that. <laughs> that's when I realized I fucked up. <laughs> Alright, people. Thanks for watching. Thanks for all support. Uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow and later today, both times. Uh, you know, tag today with uh, internet, tag tomorrow with uh, sports, 
and uh yeah so yep see you guys tomorrow and today